At Home Depot, we're always looking at ways to uh, improve our customer checkout experience. And for most of our customers, the pros in particular, it's about speed uh, to checkout. That's when we decided to, we, we looked around at a bunch of different things, and, and uh, the thing we liked about PayPal solution was uh, it offered kind of an innovative concept in the market that no one else really has in the, in the mobile wallet space, and that it's truly hands-free. You don't need your phone. Um, so the way the PayPal system works is you can register to be a PayPal in-store users with your phone number and a PIN, but you don't actually need your phone. You just need the phone number. Um, and then it, it, it goes ahead and uh, uh, senders the transaction to your PayPal account, and text you that you've just uh, uh, had a transaction as kind of a uh, asset protection type of message. Well, so it's uh, it's sort of custom, but it's uh, using some PayPal APIs to uh, take take payment. Um, we uh, we just wrote some uh, web services that attach to the uh, PayPal uh, services to do the uh, tendering and the, the uh, item level uh, detail transactions that end up in your PayPal wallet. Well, we've seen great results to date. I mean, there's not a uh, you know a lot of usage of, of PayPal. Obviously, there's there's some people who love it, like me, and use it all the time. There are some people uh, who, who don't even know PayPal exists. But um, everyone who has used it has a very positive customer experience. It is so much easier to to use in the store, and again, you're hands free for most of the 90% of the transactions are hands free. So we're seeing uh, great feedback from those customers. It allows our customers to, you know, as, as I said earlier, uh, to really get the speed to checkout, which they're striving for, particularly in our pro area, the, the, our pro customers. Well, it's, it's, it's implemented in all, t all 2,000 U.S. stores. Um, the adoption curve for this new technology is, is relatively slow. We're seeing more and more transactions every week, but, you know, at 1.4 billion transactions a year, it's, it's still relatively small.